Oh well, guys, I was right. Freezing, cold, big fish. That, that's just how it goes down. It's freaking awesome how that stuff works. Hold on, because I think I see some more. Let me, let me just drop a little waypoint right there. And we're good. Uh, but here's the deal. We got one giant this morning. The wind is blowing so hard. I can't even fish the spot we fished this morning, dude. It's just whooping. But what we're going to do is we're going to kind of turn the day around. I found some schoolie fish down in about 22 feet of water. And there's this cool new rig called a Ned Rig. I don't know how to fish it, and I've never fished it before. So what we're going to do is I just rigged one up. We're going to go shoot down to these schoolies, and we're going to try to learn how to fish the Ned Rig a little bit. Might as well take advantage of the day. We scanned for about two and a half, three hours. Didn't find anything. But that's the way it works, man. It's a game of patience, and you lose a lot more than you win. But when you win, it's winning hashtag so we're gonna go try this ned rig we're gonna get on these schoolies and uh see what we can make happen look at all of them they're everywhere dude everywhere that's golden little quick tip guys if you get on a school like this you want to stop your graft, especially if you're on a structure scan on a boat. Basically, you're taking out any factor that's going to spread those fish out or push those fish apart any which way because you don't want to screw up what you got going. The other thing you got to keep in mind is sometimes you're going to move the school or you're going to move that small group of fish that you got on by bringing the bait in or bringing the fish in. So keep that in mind for your next cast. You know, those fish might move towards you as you fish for them and catch more and more. We roll back up on this school, graph has stopped. We're going to be kind of quiet and sneak up on them. I've never fished this before, but I think these are the, the circumstances when it's like called for, dude. Fish that you know that are down there, there's a bunch of them, but they're super duper weird. So we're going to experiment with this thing. Um, that's a Domeki stinger on the back, and then I think, I don't remember what brand head that is, but your, it's your classic like musher style head. Super simple, real compact. Even in this wind, she freaking dives down real quick. So we're going to give it a try and uh, try to learn something, because that's what it's about. First net rig fish and it's giant, dude. <laughs> Just gotta make sure I don't open the hook. Ha! Ned rig! I got this on 10 pound fluorocarbon leader to um, it's 12 pound braid and it's a 7.2 or 7.3 spinning rod. It's pretty pretty light. Oh. And she's acting like a smallmouth. It's just that Ned Rig has that real small hook, so I'm, I've never fished it, so I'm not used to like how soft you gotta be with them. It's funny too, because the water's kinda, kinda dirty for this kind of a deal. Look at that giant. Oh, dude, that's like five and a half, six. All right. <laughs> On the Ned Rig, boys. Oh, she's just skin hooked too. That's a freaking nice one. We're gonna get back in there with this thing. Never fished it before. Hooked her real good. Didn't open up the hook. That's a freaking solid one. Calm down. Threading that thing on. Pop that hook out. And you thread it right on right there. And bang. Get yourself a Ned Rake. I'm almost finding like dead sticking it like that is the. Oh no! That was a big one! I broke it off. Or did I? Oh, Mike, that was a big one. So, my last bite was a pretty big one, and I broke it off. But I was saying, as I broke the fish off, that it, I, I know you're kind of supposed to reel this thing, but I'm kind of dead sticking it because, uh, oh, bloody hell. Uh, because the current's so strong, I can't keep it down on the bottom. But uh, that dead sticking is when I've been getting either on the drop or 
There we go. Um, when I'm just leaving it down there, that's when I'm getting my bigger bites. This is a smaller guy, I think, but gotta definitely keep that in mind as I go. Nice. This thing is awesome. I can't believe how many bites you can get off of it. Hooks are perfect too. It's just super small hook, which is scary. Hey, on a cold front day, I'll take a bunch of these. We already got like a five and a half, six, and a bunch of freaking two pounder, two and change, and then that 915 this morning. If we're a tournament fishing, we'll be looking pretty darn good. Guys, that is, I mean, like if you wanted a picture of what fish look like on a graph, they're not the biggest bass, but there are fish freaking everywhere. You see all them dots? All those guys, like, dude, they're, oh my god, they're everywhere. Everywhere. Well guys, that's a wrap. It is awesome when you learn a new rig. I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie, like I love the nine, what was it, 914, 915 this morning. You know, giant to start off the day really makes the day. But learning something and adapting for the day really kind of sets a, a precedent for just doing stuff different and being dynamic on the water. And that's hugely important when we get these big cold fronts, when you get changes in weather that are this dramatic and this drastic, it's really important to just be open-minded. Like usually if I found those fish like that, I'd catch them on a drop shot or maybe a Nico rig or maybe I'd crank or throw a worm to them, you know? But I tried all those things and it didn't work. And that Ned rig, like it caught them. It was hard to fish since it's blowing like 20 some miles an hour. But basically all I was doing with that Ned rig I think it was the quarter ounce setup, you know, I'd have a little stick bait on the end, I'd toss it as far as I could in the wind, which wasn't very far, let it sink to the bottom, and I'd just kind of put my reel or my rod on the side of the boat and just let the, the wind or the current or whatever you want to call it, take it. And that's when I got the best bites. That's when I caught that five and a half, six, just leaving it down there, kind of feeling for them, and the rod would just load up and they'd be there. So adapting, being open-minded, there's, there's a bigger lesson to this, and that, that applies all the time. You know, Just fish the day. Don't fish what you did last week. Don't fish what you did a month ago. You want to fish seasonally, but fish the day. That's the most important thing. But another great day on the water. I love being out when it's freaking freezing like this, and we did catch a giant, just like I thought we would because it's freezing, and for some reason those giants bite when it gets super duper cold, and no one wants to come out here when it's that cold. So that's kind of awesome. But if you like the video, if you like what you're seeing, check out some more, dude. We got some giants that we caught on some big swim baits. We got giants we caught on crankbaits. We got some giant mat fish. And I try to throw in there what I'm learning. I don't know everything, but I try to kind of interject the things that I'm picking up as I go through and learn and fish and have experiences. So if you like real fishing, subscribe, like, tell your buddies about it. And until next time, boys, more hunting for giants, maybe a little less cold weather.
and uh, see if we can catch some more on that. That uh, I forgot what it's called already. Ned rig. <laughs>